Eric Ten Hag responds as Bayern Munich make approach for Manchester United manager. Eric Ten Hag will not hold talks with Bayern Munich until Manchester United season is over, according to reports. Bayern have been dealt multiple setbacks in their bid to replace Thomas Tuchel at the end of the season with Sebay Alonso, Julian Nagelsmann and Ralph Rangnick all turning down a move. According to Sky Sports, Bayern have now made an approach to Ten Hag's agent to discuss the Dutchman's potential availability this summer. However, the report claims that Ten Hag has made it clear to his representative that his only focus is on the remainder of United season, which includes four Premier League games plus an FA Cup final against Manchester City on May 25. The report adds that Ten Hag is aware of Bayern's interest, although no formal talks have taken place. Meanwhile, Ten Hag has dismissed suggestions that he feels vulnerable in his position at United following the departures football director John Murta and chief executive Richard Arnold. No, I don't have that feeling, said Ten Hag. I work well with them, we are aligned, we communicate every day. There are already new people in a new structure and we communicate on a daily basis. I don't think in terms of danger. I think in opportunities. I never think in problems, I think how do we solve those problems or avoid them. Bayern have also made it clear that they are expecting Tuchel to leave at the end of the season. The agreement is in place, Bayern president, Herbert Heiner, said on Saturday. I am convinced we will present a good coach. Asked if he could stay, Tuchel said, I'm totally the wrong person to contact. At the moment there's nothing else to say from my side. The club took the initiative at the end of February and we came to an agreement. Since then, the club has been looking intensively. I guess that's a bad motivation to say again, oh, now we can talk to you again. From my side, that's clear at the moment. Why Eric Ten Hag and Tuchel swap is perfect for Man United and Bayern a mid-update. Thomas Tuchel will leave Bayern Munich in the summer, and Eric Ten Hag could also be on the hunt for a new job amid Manchester United's struggles. Thomas Tuchel will leave Bayern Munich at the end of the season, while Eric Ten Hag is on rocky ground at Manchester United. Tuchel's tactical flexibility would help United while Ten Hag's diplomatic personality could help him to deal with politics in the Bayern boardroom. An unexpected job swap could be on the cards this summer, with reports claiming that Eric Ten Hag and Thomas Tuchel are under consideration by Bayern Munich and Manchester United respectively. Tuchel is set to leave Bayern at the end of the season, while Ten Hag's United future is far from certain. Both men have endured difficult periods in recent months. United supporters went into this season with high hopes off the back of an encouraging 2022-23 campaign, but Ten Hag has presided over an extremely disappointing season. United suffered early exits in both the Champions League and the Carabao Cup, while they are currently 7th in the Premier League and could still mathematically finish as low as 10th, despite the season being in its final month. The Red Devils' only chance of salvaging some pride will come against Manchester City in a rerun of last season's FA Cup final. No chance of Tuchel Bayern U-turn. Boss will leave Bavarian Giants in summer. Tuchel is preparing to leave Bayern just a year on from replacing Julian Nagelsmann as the Bundesliga club's manager. Nagelsmann was dismissed less than two years into a five-year contract last March, owing to off-field issues and a lack of popularity among many senior Bayern players. Former Chelsea boss Tuchel was seen as the man who could get the best out of Bayern's squad, but a poor Bundesliga campaign as well as an early German Cup exit at the hands of third-tier side FC Saarbrücken led to Bayern taking the decision to announce in February that Tuchel would be replaced at the end of the season. Bayern's form has improved in recent weeks and they could yet end the campaign as Champions League winners, with a semi-final second leg in Madrid to come next week, but there is no chance of Bayern and Tuchel going back on their plan to cut ties. Since we agreed to part ways, Bayern has been looking intensively for a new coach. I'm guessing probably even before our conversation, Tuchel told Sky in Germany. That's bad motivation to then say, ah, let's do it again with you. Nah. From my point of view, that's clear. It's feasible that United and Bayern will both be looking for a new manager ahead of the 2024-25 campaign, and while the Times report that Tuchel is on United's shortlist of candidates, builds Christian Falk claims that Ten Hag is currently on Bayern's radar. A fresh start could do both managers some good. Why job swap could make sense?
Ten Hag's personality suits Bayern while United could do with Tuchel's tactics. Tuchel has Premier League experience from his time at Chelsea and, given what has happened at Stamford Bridge since he left, Chelsea fans will no doubt be ruining the day Todd Burley dismissed the German in order to bring Graham Potter in. Fabrizio Romano claimed Tuchel is open to returning to England, telling court offside, Thomas Tuchel is not speaking to any other club at the moment, his full focus is on the Champions League. Then of course if he leaves Bayern he's open to considering opportunities, and I'm told he'd be more than happy to return to the Premier League one day. A lot of United fans on social media aren't particularly enamoured by the prospect of Tuchel replacing Ten Hag, but he is objectively a more proven manager than the Dutchman. Tuchel reached back-to-back -back Champions League finals in 2020 and 2021, winning the latter, and his tactical flexibility would be welcomed at United. Tuchel's man management skills have been questioned, but his tactical nous, unlike Ten Hag's, cannot be. United have persisted with the same failing system all season and there has been a reluctance from Ten Hag to change tack, with the former Ajax manager seemingly content to see his side consistently overrun in midfield and face dozens of shots per game. As for Ten Hag potentially taking over at Bayern, a move would see him return to the club he spent two years at between 2013 and 2015. At Bayern, Ten Hag would find a club with a far better sporting structure than the one he is operating under at United. Bayern's players are also better than United's and that would give Ten Hag's preferred playing style a greater chance of achieving success. Karl-Heinz Rummenig, the former Bayern CEO who is now on the club's supervisory board, is fond of Ten Hag from the coach's time in charge of Bayern too. He said in 2019, first of all, I have to say, that he's a very kind man. Eric is a very pleasant guy. I also think he's capable of doing big things as a coach and he's proving this now. I think this Ajax team is the best one they've had for 10 years. Around the last years, they were not one of the top international teams, but he is leading them gradually back at a high level. Political discontent in the Bayern boardroom is never far away, but Ten Hag is a diplomat and his personality would probably suit a club like Bayern more than a manager like Tuchel, who can ruffle feathers. Ultimately, a lot of pieces would have to fall into place for Tuchel to be managing United and Ten Hag to be managing Bayern at the beginning of next season, but it will be interesting to see how the next few weeks and months play out on the managerial merry-go-round. Dortmund will do everything for Sancho deal with Man United. Manchester United are preparing to hold fresh discussions with Borussia Dortmund over a summer deal for Jadon Sancho. Borussia Dortmund have confirmed that they are eager to strike a fresh agreement with Manchester United which will see them keep Jadon Sancho. The winger initially joined the Bundesliga outfit on loan for the remainder of the season during the winter transfer window. Manchester United star Jadon Sancho could stay away from Old Trafford on a permanent basis as Borussia Dortmund sporting director Sebastian Kell has confirmed that the Bundesliga giants will hold negotiations in an attempt to keep him on their books heading into next season. The Red Devils were keen to sanction the winger's departure when the transfer window reopened at the turn of the year, having been banned from first-team facilities and frozen out after publicly criticizing boss Eric Ten Hag following the decision to not include him in the matchday squad for the trip to Arsenal in September. Dortmund offered Sancho the chance to reignite his career, thanks to shaking hands on a £3.4 million loan fee and agreeing to cover part of his wage package, but the German heavyweights do not want his second spell at Signal Iduna Park to come to an end at the campaign's climax. Dortmund admit they are desperate to keep Sancho. Bundesliga outfit preparing to open fresh negotiations with Red Devils. Dortmund sporting director Kell has admitted that Sancho is in their plans for next season, and it has led to the Champions League semi-finalists setting their sights on attempting to persuade Manchester United to allow him to remain in his current surroundings after a fruitful loan spell. The England international has found the back of the net three times and provided a further two assists for his teammates over the course of 17 outings since linking up with Edin Terzic's charges, having been starved of game time at Old Trafford, and he will be at the centre of internal discussions in the coming weeks. Via transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, Kell told German media outlet Welt. We will try everything to keep Jadon Sancho here. But Manchester United also see how well he is playing at the moment. Maybe they also want to sell him for profit or bring him back. We will see. It is understood that Sancho will refuse to head back to Manchester United if Ten Hag remains at the helm, 
due to being involved in a high-profile bust-up with the Dutch tactician earlier in the season, but new minority shareholder Sir Jim Ratcliffe is continuing to mull over whether to make a change in the dugout as they play catch-up for a top-four spot in the Premier League. Give me sports sources recently revealed that Dortmund are increasingly confident that the Red Devils would be open to sanctioning another loan ahead of next season as the Bundesliga outfit are aware that the 24-year-old will not have the opportunity to reignite his old Trafford career if a change is not made at the helm. Sancho's salary demands could end hopes of deal. Concerns emerge over whether German giants can match wingers' expectations. Although Sancho is open to remaining among Dortmund's options heading into next season, according to Sky Sports Germany reporter Florian Plettenberg, staying in his current surroundings is not a foregone conclusion as his salary expectations are expected to be a significant stumbling block. The respected reporter suggests that Di Borison are willing to pay in the region of £30 million for the former Manchester City Academy graduate, who is on an Old Trafford contract worth £275,000 per week. But there are also doubts over whether Ratcliffe would be open to sanctioning a permanent departure despite a bust-up with Ten Hag. 